afternoon. Just got time for a bit of a uh, drive and chat. A couple of things that are going on at the moment. If I look tired, it's because I watched a really, really good documentary last night about um, Net Zero and what happens next with um, you know the deconstruction of the West based on all of this eco stuff that's coming, you know, that's made in China and where we wind up politically. The documentary was called Naked and Afraid XL. Um, actually, no, this is a reality series where they get survivalists, dump them in the middle of nowhere, butt naked, and they have to survive. The one I'm watching, they're in Louisiana in the swamp, and um, you know they're trying to hunt alligators and all that sort of stuff. Had a really sweet moment because we were watching this with the kids, because you know it's educational, isn't it? Watching this with the kids, and you know the one team they haven't eaten for however long and they get this alligator, and my seven-year-old, like I could just, I could see his face dropping, and the poor kid, man, he was on the side of the alligator, like 100%. And I was trying to explain to him, I said, look, if, if we were in a situation where, you know, it was just us four, and we had to survive, um, it, it might be you or the alligator, and, he, and he, he still couldn't get on board with eating the alligator. But anyway, that's, um, that's net zero, we've got all that to come. I'm actually thinking of writing a piece called what happens next and what I'll do is I'll take all of the conspiracy theories that seem to be coming true and all the stuff that seems to be going on at the moment and I'll extrapolate it and I'll turn it into a, um, a novella shall we say a miniature novella a dystopian novella so I could fill you in on, on, on where things go next you know with the election and with the hotels that are currently housing our um, doctors and engineers that are coming over the channel uh, and you know what Bill Gates is up to and 5G and all that sort of stuff maybe I'll, maybe I'll turn it into a book a small novella a dystopian fiction um, that you know people will then look back and be like blimey that youtuber he wrote this book in 2024 and it was all right it was all correct anyway I'm on my way to find some internet I've got 5g on my phone but obviously that doesn't work so I'm gonna have to go to a pub that's got some Wi-Fi. I've just filmed an update to the Monster Truck Mayhem video. Quite excited to get that out. It's pretty long, but I think it covers off a lot of the points. Uh, I had a journalist contact journalist contact me this morning from the Worcester News, who wanted to know my thoughts on why people were finding it funny. And I said to him, "You're asking all the wrong questions." But all of this will be dealt with in the video. Anyway, it's warm today. It is a balmy. 19 degrees. I heard from the map master this morning. He reckons he's gone and got himself in a state car. It's a Taycan Cross Turismo that he's trying for a day or two. I said, that's not a wagon. This is a wagon. And you can tell this is a wagon because that's my surfboard. Um, tonight, we are going down to The Wave in Bristol, which is one of my favorite destinations in the world. Uh, so we're going to go for a little surf down there. And I'm going to document all of that for my other channel, which is called Adventures with Jeff. So that'll be a good adventure that you can share with Jeff. There's also some further content going on that channel as well um, from canoeing the other day and from a car show. Oh yeah, I've got a, a car show one, that's pretty good. Um, and you'll be glad to know that the gentleman didn't die. Anyway, the fire, this does a long introduction. There's been a fire at the Scottish battery processing plant. Lots of stuff on social media, lots and lots of people sending it to me. There's also been a fire at a lithium battery thing uh, where 22 people have died, I think in South Korea. I am gonna address both of these on the channel. The reason I haven't yet addressed the Scotland fire is because I think there's a little bit more to it and I'm just trying to connect another couple of dots in my research before I go on record and say something that then gets proven to be wrong. And all you evangelists are like, yeah, Jeff, but you don't normally do that. Um, well, I, I think that there's a connection, basically, between two fires that have already happened, and I think there's similar people involved. But I can't prove it yet, but when I've proven it, I will make a video. Uh, on the advert front as well, I posted a video yesterday that was about seven minutes long. You'll recall that I had something to say about YouTube advertising. I checked, and on a seven minute long video, normally, when you upload a video, if it's less than, I think, eight minutes, YouTube says, this video won't have any adverts in the middle of it, because it's less than eight minutes. I posted up a video yesterday that was around about that length, which would mean it should have one mid-roll advert that YouTube forced into it. And when I checked, they had put three adverts in a seven minute video. So something is definitely going on with YouTube advertising. And two of the adverts were ahead of the three minute point. 
and I was like, well, by that point, I haven't even finished my introduction, let alone got into the meat of the video, and everybody's been put off by the advert. So I'm gonna pay more attention going forward to that. Um, other stuff going on as well. Uh, there's some pretty cool stuff going on in the automotive world. Ford have collaborated with someone to make some continuation cars, so there'll be a video on that. And Alpine, Alpine have just launched, or they're in the process of unveiling their new electric cot hatchback. And obviously there's some stuff to say about that. So there we go, a little update. I can highly recommend you watching the Net Zero documentary called Naked and Afraid. I can't believe I've only just discovered Naked and Afraid. It's really good. And uh, there's about 25 seasons of it, so that's what's keeping me up late at night, and that's why I'm tired, because once you start watching something like that on Netflix, you can't stop. However, if we do collapse into a sort of Mad Max world where everybody is hunting for deer on Canuck Chase all at once, um, well, the winners are going to be the ones with the AK-47s, and from what I've told, <laughs> that's the people in the hotels. But I'm going to edit some video before I write my novella, and the novella will be coming up, I don't know, eventually. Definitely eventually. I've been threatening to write a book for ages, so it's about time I wrote a book. Right, this place has got Wi-Fi where I can actually upload a video. Also, uh, my fuel lights just come on. I've got 105 miles left. I've driven 567 miles on this tank of fuel. I'm still running around. Thank you, Sony. I'm still running around on the tank of fuel that I put in in France. Um, and that's why big diesel cars are for the win. So, Adventures with Jeff channel will be progressing soon. More news on the uh, bike trailer will be coming up soon. And I bought a tow bar. It just happens to be attached to a car, so I've got to go collect that as well. But all of that is coming up. Tonight we're off surfing, and I will document that on the other channel. If you haven't been to the Wave, you'll watch that on the other channel, and then you'll be like, oh, Jeff, that place looks fantastic. I should visit. And then you'll all visit, and hopefully they'll sponsor me, and I'll never have to pay for surfing at the Wave again. That's the plan! I highly doubt that's going to happen. Also, do you like my surfboard rack? The in-car surfboard rack that seems to work a treat. Brilliant. Right, let's go and edit some video. Oh, this monster truck one's good.